What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build-A video. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about when you should do your assignments after the contest of mayors has ended. Somebody asked this on the Facebook group and because it has kind of a complex answer, I wanted to go ahead and do a video on it because I know many people have asked me this or they've asked me something similar to this and that is should I use tickets or whatever the case may be. Now. To some, this is a pretty self-explanatory answer to some extent, right? So you need to look at a couple of things when you decide if you should proceed on to use any tickets or assignments. And that is, first off, look and see how long you have left of the pass. Did you purchase the pass? How many tickets do you have available? What league are you in? All of these things are super important. If you're in the mega league and you have one uh, week left of the pass, it's double points week. Of course, I'm going to tell you to, to use all of your tickets, right? And you purchase the pass, you want to get as far as you can. And yeah, of course. But if it's like the beginning of the pass and you're not in mega, why on earth would you blow through your tickets when they're you have a limited amount that you're allowed to use each league and then you have a limited amount available to you? And you only obtain them through aspects of the game, very minimal aspects of the game. So like you get them in your contest of mayor's pass every now and then. You'll get them when you rank up on com uh, rank. When you win war, you can get some. But they're, they're very minimal, okay? So if you don't have a lot of gold tickets, like, you know, above 80, if you're going to be, you, you got to figure. Once you hit mega, right? Essentially most of you are going to be doing or using 15 gold tickets every single week once you're in mega. So if you only have 30 or 45, that's only good for three weeks, right? So if you're not actively winning war or you're not hitting certain you know parts of the pass or careful, you can end up in mega with no gold tickets if you burn through them all in the lower leagues. I'm gonna tell you right now that you should not use any tickets in any league besides Mega unless, and listen to me very carefully, unless you have an absolute shit ton of gold tokens, like above 100, you've been playing the game a while, and you're not playing comp competitively, okay? If you are somebody who is trying to get to the, the pass, you're trying to get to the end of the pass, and you're, you're playing casual contest mayors, meaning you're just kind of doing whatever. Like for me... I usually use my tickets when I hit Mega or Metro. And that's if I want to get promoted into Mega. So let's say that you're in Metro, you've given it your all, you have a good chance of winning, and you've got 15 tasks left or 15 tickets left to use. But you have a 10K lead on second place. You're definitely going to want to use your tickets to secure your placement, okay? Depending on what level you are will depend on how many tasks or tickets you should use. If you're somebody who's above level 20 and you have gold tokens unlocked, so you'd be level 24 at that point, you're going to have a much easier time adding quick, fast points at the last minute versus somebody who's below level 20 who doesn't have even silver tokens unlocked. So if a level 24 player wants to wait till last minute to, to do 10 tickets to see if they need to, they're gonna be able to do that much easier than a level 18 player because that could be very, that could really screw you up. If you're a level 18 player, you can't use tokens and you're camping and then your club's not in war, how the hell are you gonna add a shit ton of points last minute, right? Yeah, you're not, not very easily. It would be a huge waste of time and tickets. So you need 611,000 points roughly to hit the end of this pass. Every single contest of mayors pass so far, every last week of the pass, we've had double points weeks. That is where you're gonna be able to catch up on pretty much any, uh, any points that you may need to catch up on for the past. Now, if you're at the point with it where you're so damn close to the end and you've got tickets and you're in a lower league and it's double points week, of course, if it's the last week, yeah, use your tickets. No kidding, right? But if you've already hit tier 42, you have no chance in winning or even you're, or you're in a low league, do not use any gold tickets in the lower leagues, no matter what. 
You can win first place without doing that. Now, let's say that you're in the lower league, you know you're getting promoted, you know you're winning first place, and you have several actual assignments left. Should you proceed on even after the contest of mayors has ended? Absolutely. Yes. Why wouldn't you? That's an easy way for you to add points to your pass, right? So essentially, do you want to burn through your tickets after the contest of mayors has ended? No. If you have ever, if you are ever at a point where the contest of mayors is ended, even if you're in mega, do not use your tickets. Don't do it. Unless you are a high level player who plays casually and has an obscene amount of tickets and just wants to finish the pass. Or if you didn't have enough time to finish all of your tickets, it's the last week of calm and you want to get it done, right? But typically that would be happening during that week anyways. So just use your better judgment to say, look, I'm not going to waste my tickets. I want to save as many as I possibly can for Mega. And if I have any assignments left over at the end of the week, then that means that you need to start changing the way you're playing the contest of mayors. Because if you're playing competitively and you have tasks left at the end of the week, then you need to figure it out because you're not playing right. Okay. You should have plenty of time. If you're, you want to go at a good pace, you do not want to be some it races to the top of the leaderboard in the first two days of the, t of the contest. You should finish right around 12 to 10. I'd say 12 to 16 hours left of the contest is when you should be completely done with all 60 tasks in Mega and all 15 tickets. There will be some weeks where you might have an extra production or depending on what level you are or what have you, where it takes you the full, the full time depending on what time the contest of mayors ends for you as well, okay? But when I would play competitively, and I would play, I play on the uh, the West Coast. I'm, I'm from Washington State. And so the contest of mayors ends really, really late for me. Now, uh, I would typically finish, you know, maybe 10 hours before the contest of mayors. But that was back when I was playing competitively. Back when I was playing competitively, we could only use five tickets each week. Now you can use 15. So you guys, I mean, just you got to get the, a, a good pace with it and you have to check on your game frequently throughout the day. You cannot afford to be idle for 10, 12 hours, then go to sleep for eight hours, then be idle for four more hours and then go, oh, well, you know, I just now decided I'm going to sit down and I'm going to work on calm all day today. It doesn't work like that because the moment that you decide to do that is when you're going to get smacked with a 10 hour production task where it's just has you stuck sitting. And then you're like, well, do I do that? Or do I just do a bunch of lower tasks and do that later? And that's how you end up at the bottom of the leaderboard. You have to be consistent. You have to be on top of your game and you have to be good with it. You cannot, if you're ending up to where you have that many tasks at the end of the week, you're doing something wrong. Okay. Especially if you're in the lower leagues. Because that means that you had even less tasks. You had like 35, 40 tasks all week for five, for five and a half days or whatever it is. How in the hell could you not, not especially in the lower leagues when nothing really matters? You're not going to be spending cash on your tasks. You're not going to be going for a 2K average. You're just going to be doing quick, fast, easy points in the lower leagues. In Metro, you're going to start to give a damn. But you're not going to burn through any beach tasks. You're not going to burn through any airport tasks. You're not going to do any upgrade tasks. So even Metro is still going to be relatively easy in comparison to Mega. Okay. So like I said, yes, you want to do them at the end of the week, even after the contest of mayors has ended. But I'm about to answer the next question that you guys have. And that is when the contest of mayors is over, what does it mean? Why do you have tasks left? When you click on the tower here, notice how if you click on the leaderboard, it says where you're at on the leaderboard. And it says to be demoted to City League if you fall below this line. Then it says no prize. Then it tells you the prize. And then it says to be promoted into Mega. That means that I'm in Metro and I have to I have to get above that line. So I have to place within the top 10 people in order to be even placed in Mega, 
right? Now, let's pretend for just a moment that the contest is over, right? And I have 15 tasks left. What purpose do I have to do those? Well, because I wanna add points to my, my, uh, my pass. Now, let's say I had 15 tickets left and I was limited on tickets. Would I wanna waste them? No, because the contest of mayors is already ending. Now, at the beginning of the new week, when the new contest of mayors assignments come out, you're gonna be promoted or demoted or remain or whatever goes on, okay? Once they put you in with your new league or demote you or whatever happens, happens. Once that happens, you're gonna get a brand new refreshed list, okay? And that's when everything starts over. You're gonna get a new list. You're gonna get, you're gonna start with a specific amount of assignments. If you're in mega, you start with 60 tasks and then you get 15 tickets. That's 75 tasks in total. If you're running a 2K average, that's 150,000 points for a 2K average is where you wanna be at the end of the week. If you're in Metro, you start with 50 tasks. So that's 10 less than mega. Every league thereafter below Metro, you can deduct five tasks each week. So if Metro is 50, the next one is 45, the next one is 40, the next one is 35 and so forth. That is how you count them. Once you hit Metro, it's a 10 task jump. So Metro's, fi Metro's 50, Mega's 60. That's how you can remember, okay? Now, every single league you can use 15 tickets. Do not waste your tickets in the lower leagues, no matter what, uh, okay? So, Obviously, if it's the very last week and you want to unlock a specific thing in the pass, it would probably be a good idea to add up the amount of points that you need to see if you can even possibly hit that, right? And that way you don't waste a bunch of your time, okay? So you guys, good luck. Uh, the total amount per pass is 611,000 points. So if you need to do the math, divide it by how many weeks there are, how many you know, rounds or whatever. But it's going to be different based on what league you started this season in. Did you start in Mega? If you did, you're going to have a much easier time hitting the end of the pass because now you're starting the first round with double the amount of tasks that you would start with if you were just now starting out, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to get this posted so that you guys know, and hopefully that answers some of your guys' questions.